Steve, do you have any pets? No, I don't actually, mostly because I'm allergic to cats, but I do love dogs though, what about you? I also love dogs, but I also understand what a commitment they are, especially between food, vet bills, dog sitting, and taking them to the groomers. Yeah, and actually, have you heard of these mobile pet grooming salons? Groomer Kelsey Johnston is the owner and operator of one called All Four Paws Pet Services in Halifax. That's right. She recently volunteered to set up shop outside on the street of the CNIB's Halifax offices for a special guide dog grooming day. Laura Bain was there to catch the action and meet some of her furry four-legged clients. Inside Kelsey Johnson's mobile dog grooming salon, the soap suds are flying. Kelsey says bringing her business here today is her way of giving these dogs a treat. Dogs are a miraculous creature and what they do for our people as a whole is amazing and um, having some of the service dogs as clients regularly, I was like, how can I give back to more of them? So, and what the only way I can do that is by giving them a pain purse. So that's kind of what I wanted to do. Kelsey's day is booked solid. Up next, a black lab named Finn. Hi, nice, nice to meet you. you. And this is Finn? This is Finn. Hi, Finn. Finn's handler, Kelly Boudreaux, is happy to take advantage of the grooming services today. He's fun. He's lovable. He's silly. <laughs> and he pretty much is always by my side. Always. So we'll give him a bath. OK. Clean his ears, dry him, give him a good brush, trim his nails. Kelsey operates her salon service out of a state-of-the-art, customized, self-contained van. So in this space, I have a 4x4 stainless steel tub that has a level in it that my small, little small dogs can be on, and then the big dogs can get in. So I, it can fit everything from, you know, big Newfoundlander dogs right down to little toy Yorkies. So um, it has that. It has my uh, high-velocity dryer. What you don't see um, when the dog is being worked with is actually like the 65 gallon tanks that I have of clean and dirty. And I just have to drive up and park and have a dog to pamper and that's it. After about an hour, Finn looks great. Hi. Did he mind the water? No, he didn't. No, I didn't think so. No. After a quick goodbye to Finn and Kelly, Kelsey moves on to her next client, Alicia Potty and her dog, Edlin. My dog is Adlin. She's a three-year-old black lab, and I got her from Guiding Eyes in New York. Um, she's very rambunctious. She does not realize her size. She's about 70 pounds, but she acts like a puppy. Oh, look at you. Oh, my goodness. Today, all these hardworking dogs are getting a full-service pamper. Some love it, some hate it. Patience, I think, is the the biggest thing, and reassurance, mm -hmm. and letting them lick my face. Alicia speculates that Edlin will love the tub time. I think she'll like it. She loves to get brushed and stuff, so she loves to be pampered and get her nails done. <laughs> the results are in. Edlin's happy dog shake says it all. I feel happy that it, they're rid of all that excess dirt and dander off their skin and all that excess coat, and they probably just have this different um, level of morale and confidence to them. So, um, you know, you kind of almost like a little, a little prancing unicorn when they come out. So it makes me feel good. So I hope they feel good. That's so cool. What a great treat for those dogs and owners. Black Labs seem to be a pretty popular breed for guide dogs. Right? They're smart, energetic, loyal, and apparently they like getting baths. They're like, kind of like the perfect pet. Kudos to groomer Kelsey Johnson of All Four Paws Pet Services and the Halifax CNIB for setting up the day.